Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review! This episode, kids, is very special because this episode is the Gaga edition. Yes! There were so many- say Gaga, I just wanna go. But there were so many outfits in the last episode, we had to split it up a little bit so y'all weren't exhausted with us, and plus it gave us a little bit of filler time. Something else to talk shade about. Shade? I love me some Lady Gaga. I love that she showed up, bitch. Finally. Mm -hmm. But let's think back to season eight when they were asked to do a night of a thousand Madonnas <laughs> and four queens came with kimonos. Mm. Actually six, because two of the other queens had kimonos that didn't quite make it to that main stage. Mm -hmm. So let's see if these queens all came prepared with different looks because she's done so fucking many. Oh my God, if there are multiples of one look, I will personally find these people and strangle them myself. I was very nice to those kimono bitches. Fuck it up and down the way they did. But I'm fine now, I'm better. So much better. And don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Photo Review on WOW Presents. Too oh, fuck yeah. First pitch, ladies and gentlemen, on the stage from New York City as Lady Gaga in her David Bowie look. Grammys 2016. Oh my Peppermint. God, I live. Miss Peppermint better, honey. She is from New York City and she is good friends with Bianca Del Rio and I'm sure she's got some costume ties in New York City. There are people who are doing some good sewing for her. That That's, jacket is fierce. Yeah. I definitely see it. And you know what, they didn't have very much time so makeup changes were kind of out of the question a little bit, but I still would have tried to put like a little applique on it or something, like a little thunderbolt. Well, I would have probably tried to like block out the eyebrow oh. to make it look a little more like she did with that whole severe, very like. Sure, you know, sure. Yeah, but whatever, too. It's Ooh, good. Ooh, that looks good. Great. Finally, people doing some really good Gaga look. Valentina at the CFDA Awards 2011. I am a little monster. I am a fan. And I love Lady Gaga. I could just look at her costumes all the time. So I might be a little bit more nitpicky about shit. Okay. I'm gonna be nitpicky about this look. I'm gonna tell you why. Because it looks cheap. It just doesn't give me the I dramatic get, I moment. I can totally get what you're saying. The shoes should have been different. It should have been a higher boot. It should have been more of a statement. The hair is a little funny too because the hair is just kind of standard blue bob which come, comes out of a bag and Gaga's was not. Gaga's was more triangular and had a bit more of a, like I'm telling you, I look at what Gaga wears. Yeah. Because this is definitely at essence, mm -hmm. not realness. Mm -hmm. But I see what you mean, it does look cheap. Yep. It looks cheap. It's not quite there. And I'm gonna go ahead and boot it because I wish she had a higher boot on. I agree. Like a thigh high or something, right? Boot. boot. Next we have Eureka in Telephone. Didn't she have beer cans That's there? what I was gonna say. I was like, who's gonna say it first, me or you? When you say Lady Gaga telephone video, I think leather studded jacket, Big beer bold cans, brows. Or cigarette, cigarette eyeglasses. And then fucking beer cans rolled the away. Yellow caution tape. Come on. Yeah. Everybody knows the yellow. She could have done like a nude suit with the yellow caution tape. For me, it's fine. It's fine. It certainly is more exciting than Valentina's for me. Yes. I think it has that essence. It's got the big shoulders. I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah. Charlie Hyde. Charlie Hyde. And this is one of uh, Gaga's looks, uh, apparently at the Brit Awards. I know this look. She would choose this look. Mm -hmm. She loves to wear masks, little, you know, theatrical things. It is a good look. It's a really easy one to change into, and that's what was really smart and lucky for her if, you know, because if that's yeah, what she brought, it's it. like, her, her dick could be hanging out under there. Hopefully it is. If she was smart, her, she would have taken all of her undergarments off and just kind of rocked that. Yeah, uh, I love it. I love it, I give two. it a two. All right, next we have Pheromone in the Alejandro video, which is one of my favorite songs by Lady Gaga. I like it. It's a nice replica. There's like some cooler looks though. Oh my God, I'm being such a bitch right now. Like wouldn't you have done like that steampunk eye at the beginning with the short bang and the eyebrows gone and like some weird like, you know, there was that look. Then there was the, uh, the machine gun breasts. Uh -huh. Like why don't you do that? Like, I wouldn't have done this. I wouldn't have done that. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's okay, but Pheromone, you better step it up. You're a really pretty girl and you should be doing more. I like this look, but it's not my favorite, uh, but I'm still gonna toot it. 
I mean, I get the two. It's yeah. done well. It's done very well. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, I get the two. But I would have machine gun tits, right? I know. Next we have Sasha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like this. That, I mean, that was the look. Applause, right? There was a smudge makeup. Um, and it kind of feels very much on the Sasha brand. This to me is a makeup look. Yeah. Because you're wearing, you know, a, a turtleneck, a hood, some pants, a corset, and a shawl. This to me looks creepy as fuck. You're a man and you have manly features, so they're, they're, because there's no, no contour or any dimension on the face, mm -hmm. it looks creepy. This looks creepy. Hmm. Well, I like it. It's I mean, it really, it's a toot. It's just, it's what it's she was, it was what Gaga looking. was going through at that time. Alexis. We have Alexis as Gaga. At the Golden Globes, the Golden 2016. Globes. This was that infamous moment she fucking nudged Leonardo, Cap Leonardo DiCaprio out of her way to go grab her award. I need this dress. It's beautiful. It is so pretty. It just hits the shoulder just so beautifully. It's beautiful. You know? Yeah. Beautiful. I think she looks gorgeous. I'm gonna give this a two. Two. Fucking two. We've got Shay as Lady Gaga at Monster Ball, in the Monster Ball. Mo the Monster Ball Tour. Monster Ball Tour. I'm not really feeling Monster Ball Tour. I'm feeling Shea Kool-Aid Tour. Shea Kool-Aid, pardon me. I like, you know what I do like about it? I like the tears. I like that there's volume in the dress. Um, I can see what reference she's using from the Monster Ball. There's a few moments where Gaga's got these like outfits where it kind of sprays out, mm -hmm. you know, and then the yellow hair. I'm gonna give this a two. It's two. Because it's pretty, yeah, yeah. She looks great. Yeah, the hair looks beautiful. The dress looks beautiful. Yeah. You can see her toes, too. Next we have Trinity. I love Taylor. this. Trinity Taylor. Do we have to say the whole name? I think First and last. That's how she prefers that's it. That's respect. I think they call her, out on the Facebook, I think they call her Trinity the Tuck Taylor. I'm just gonna refer to her as the Tuck from the now Tuck. on. The um, Tuck. So the Tucks got on... American Horror Story Hotel. Yes. I love it. I think she, I think Trinity got this all right. I like that she has that beautiful like glove effect with a lipstick, so she can like, mm -hmm. just slash throats and shit. Uh, special effects are always nice. I think she looks fantastic. It gives me that feeling. Yeah. I like it. I feel like that is American Horror Story. I wish she had, she would have had more of a like a, a, a feathers or something would have been nice too. Mm, yeah, because you know the Countess definitely had that sort of 1930s, 1920s rich woman kind of feel, you know, and. Uh, I just wish it had a little bit more texture, more something. Is it a tutor a bit? I mean, it looks like a lace glove with rhinestones on it. it doesn't really look Whatever. Like it's... But hey, she worked it out. And if you were to show me this and go, what does this make you think of? True. I'd say Lady Gaga and Mary. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll give it a two. 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 Next we have Kimora Black. So she she said, I'm not doing a specific look. I'm gonna just be Lady Gaga when she's out running to Trader Joe's to get quinoa. Or in this, to go to the or airport. Or the airport. You know, sometimes when I'm at the airport, I like to have that fantasy of Lady Gaga falling all over the airport as, we see, as we've seen in the tabloids. And you know, whenever I trip and fall, usually because I'm stoned and drunk, when I arrive at the airport, I imagine I'm her. So I like an airport look, but I don't know if this is the airport. See what I mean? Such a about this because I really, really love Gaga fashion. I don't know if this is an airport look, is that? Well, if you're Lady Gaga circa 2010, yes. You know what I can say, before I decide on that, I'm gonna say that Kimora looks gorgeous. Even with all the nudity that is on there, I feel like she looks expensive and uh, she looks sexy. It looks, it looks really well put together and themed. And so with that, I'm gonna give it a two. two. She looks great. I give it a yeah, two. She looks really, she yeah. looks beautiful. And yeah. it gives me Gaga. Yeah. Next we have James Mansfield. And she is Lady Gaga on the cover of Vogue. I love it. I love it too. I fucking love it. I'm, I, I wish that this would have been her look at the beginning because we can't see her biscuit baskets. I know, she's probably got them on. Oh my I gosh, I think, I think she actually is wearing biscuits underneath that dress. <laughs> you know, she fucking scooted her ass honey up Honey with honey on it. Honey, biscuits and honey. Um, I think she looks beautiful. She gives me divine. Ah, I see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna toot this. Yeah, it's, there definitely deserves to. Mm -hmm. I think it's, this was done. Again, you look at it and go, Lady Gaga, cover of Vogue. Yes. 
Next we have Aja. I know exactly what this reference is. I remember Lady Gaga wearing this, and I think she was leaving a hotel when she wore this. But this is a, a replica, a copy of a Comme des Garçons look. And I think she got it pretty correct. Yeah, it was, a, it was this sort of dress that looked like a cutout. It was almost like paper doll where it had a front and a back, but it was actually kind of a large shape mm. that already had the smaller cutout in the middle. Got it. So it was this kind of paper doll effect. And I love the actual Comme des Garçons piece. I wish I had that and owned it, and I'd be wearing it right now. It's a great rep, Scott, too. Next we have Nina Bonina. The VMAs 2009. This got lucky. Yeah. She got lucky, because she probably had not a stitch of makeup on. She was like, you know what, fuck all y'all. This is the end of the day. I'm gonna take some baby wipes as I'm putting this costume on. Yeah. And I'm gonna serve you real nice. You know what? Nina Bonina right now looks like Two chicken drumsticks with barbecue sauce all over it. Do you see it? Am I, I the only it. one? I, I am I or am I just hungry? We're hungry. Starving. No. I just don't like that shoe with that. But whatever. I and I love it. a new pump. I love a new pump. Mm -hmm. But not with this. I am guessing with the way Nina Bonina does makeup, if she was trying to get away with being giving you Lady Gaga, it's probably best she did cover her face. <laughs> I don't. Can we also get that one sound effect that they play at the clubs? You know, they push that button and go. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I'm gonna give this a two. I give this a two. Trend alert. Joanne. Joanne. Available on iTunes. Joanne. Have you heard Pinot Grigio Girls? Yeah. It's my favorite song. I know. Our top two of the week is... Charlie Hines! Charlie Hines! Charlie Hines! Charlie, 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 Charlie. Because you know what, Charlie? Uh, most recognizable. You look at that shit, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, go, go. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. beautiful, lovely, fierce, glamorous, exquisite. Working it, bitch. Top two. RuPaul's Drag Race. All new Fridays at 8, now on VH1. Don't forget to subscribe to oh, wow. WOW Presents. They told us to do this. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>